Andy Gresh, part of our New England Nation team, joining us now to preview the Jets week. All right, Gresh, first of all, I want to talk your shirt. No hope shirt for Mac Jones this week. No, no, no. In the laundry, you just don't believe in the guy after one Oh, loss. please, are you kidding <laughs> me? Everybody is sold. Now everybody is buying those shirts because they know that he is the hope for this football team. And isn't it amazing, Maury, that we've gotten to the point where nationally, everybody kind of agrees. Hey, the kid's good. He had great pocket presence. I don't know how you couldn't be impressed with the way Mac Jones played in week one. Yeah, they saw it here first on New England Nation. That's right. I've been a believer all along. I Won mean, by Andy Grass. I got to say that it's really amazing that that all everybody gets wrapped up in all the numbers and where they play and oh, he was thrown to guys that were wide open. Okay. So if he wasn't, then he'd be really bad, I guess, right? It, the, the narrative around Mac Jones was insane to me, but he showed poise. He was calm. He went through his checks. I know on New England Nation, we're going to be all over that. He was fantastic in terms of running the game. Still got a long way to go as a player, and that's a good thing. Not only are you a football analyst, you're also a trendsetter when it comes to fashion. <laughs> I like it. Actually, I own the t-shirt company, so it's really a rib on everybody else, and they don't Perfect. know that I'm really profiting off of those shirts. Perfect. All right, how nice is it after you're licking your wounds, you have a couple mental mistakes, you have a couple physical mistakes, more than a couple, to play the team like the Jets? Yeah, I think it helps because you got another rookie quarterback and a first-year head coach, and we know normally Bill Belichick kind of eats those guys up. And look, the Jets are young. I know Zach Wilson is a really young athletic quarterback, but having seen the kid play, I, you know, he's, there's a little bit of Cam Newton in his game in terms of he's so athletic that he does things where he'll throw off one leg, but that means he'll throw it over the middle for an interception. He'll make the good play, but he'll also give you the good play. And if you're New England, to me, Maury, this is one of those games where you just wait. The Jets will make enough mistakes for the Patriots to be able to win this thing. If they don't make them first. Well, and I think <laughs> they clean that up because, look, the fumble on Stevenson, Come on now. That his rear end was down. If that goes to review and it's called the other way, they don't reverse it. So it's one of those technicalities. Now, Damian Harris, I think that's a part of the reason being gassed. I mean, he ran a ton of carries. I think it was he had 30 he had a little bit he had 30 plays I think it was, and he touched the ball like 26 times, which is a ton of work. So you could see he was gassed. I question whether they should have traded Sony Michelle because I like Sony Michelle, unlike others, but he would have been able to help you and maybe you win that game against the Dolphins. Aside from penalties and fumbles, what other plays did the Patriots leave on the table on Sunday that they can correct for the Jets? Well, I, I think some of it, Maury, was, you know, your, your self inflicted wounds, like you'd mentioned, you know, the holding penalties and stuff like that. But Mac Jones on the throw in the flat to Jacoby Myers, they hit it early in the game. He hit him in the hands, but it could have been a better throw. And Mac will be better at that next time around. You know, I also think that the, the blitz up the middle and running backs having to protect, that's got to get better or else that's going to be a major flaw. And you're going to have to run more empty sets or just James White flaring out of the backfield. So they got to clean that protection up. And I think if they do, it will allow more shots down the field for Mac Jones. You always want to start fast. You never let, want to let a team like the Jets hang around. Um, where, though, could the Jets hurt you if you let them find some rhythm? I think pass rush, and I think offensively, if they can get the play-action game going and get Zach Wilson moving, to me, he's a move quarterback. And if you're not contained in your pass rush, you're just giving him the right to run up the middle. So I think from a pass rush standpoint, you got to be really disciplined up the middle. And I thought last week the rush was a little lacking up the middle. I think this week it'll be appropriate, but they're not going to go gangbusters because if the first guy gets by, the kid can slide through, and that's a one-on-one -on -one situation with a linebacker, and that's where Zach, Will uh, Zach Wilson's athleticism takes over. All right, and last one, your three keys to a Patriots win, and do you see the Patriots winning, and what's your score? Uh, I do. I think they win 23-16, to 16, so I do, think they, uh, I do think they cover. They get into the end zone at least one more time. That's still going to be an evolutionary process. I mentioned the running backs have got to be better all the way around. you got to protect the ball you got to protect and pass protection I think that in terms of the defense got to be better on those first down you know got to be better on first down and then obviously clean up the turnovers and the penalties which is kind of standard operating procedure but it's really got to be those running backs and the offensive linemen be very curious to see what happens with Justin Haran if he ends up getting the start or not I still think it's up in the air penalties were a big issue early in the season last year they eventually corrected them yeah they'll need to start correcting them week two He's Andy Gresh. I'm Maury Hirsch Gordon. We'll be back here on the Sports Wrap. We're previewing the Patriots and the Jets.